Hey guys. Hi guys. Hey guys. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be talking about my hair. So, um, basically, I um, get comments, um, I guess, frequently about my hair, and I never really wanted to do a video about my hair because I wanted my channel, before when I first started my channel, I wanted it to be focused on two main things, being vegan and being an artist. But recently, like, I haven't gotten that excited about vegan videos because there's, like, a million vegan YouTubers now. Um, when I started my channel, like, three years ago, I don't, I think it was just starting to become a popular thing on YouTube, but now it's just, like, everywhere. So, um, I'm going to take down these twists, and while I take down my twists, I'm going to talk a little about my hair and kind of like my natural hair journey and stuff like that so this will probably be a long video so relax get your tea i hope this angle is okay i'm like looking up at the tripod because it's like on top of my sink i'm in the bathroom so anyways um my hair right now is in twists from i washed and deep conditioned it um on sunday and today is thursday so i've had my hair um wrapped and this like like hair wrap for when I go out like I don't know how to show you like kind of like wrapped around like this um, for the past whatever amount of days it's been and I just started doing that because I've realized that I just um I guess maybe after dying it I was like I'm putting so much stress on my hair on a daily basis like styling it, fluffing it out, picking it every day for when I go to work and stuff. And I was like, why am I doing that? Like, who who am I trying to press at work every day? So, I have my deep condition wash days, usually like Sundays or Saturdays. And then I keep my hair wrapped up in twists until I decide I want to take them out. So today's Thursday, like I said, and I'm going to take it down because tomorrow... Um, well this weekend um, a friend of a friend is having a wedding and I'm going and I want my hair to be popping so um, I, I want to take, take down my hair now so by Saturday which is the day of the wedding my hair will have been have grown you know what I mean like you know like first day hair doesn't get very big so I like to take out my twists a couple of days before I'm trying to look my best. Is this making see this is why I don't make hair videos. I feel like I'm not making sense. But anyways, okay, so yeah. Basically I'm taking out my twist now so by Saturday my hair will be big because today my hair is not gonna be very big. First day hair for me isn't unless I'm like really just picking and fluffing the heck out of it. So basically is this a good angle? Oh, zoom in. I don't know. So I'm just going to take out my twist. And so let's talk about natural hair, my natural hair. So, um, see, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, okay, so I, I've been natural for a while now. I think I went natural in 2009. Yeah, so it's been quite a while and I've had like ups and downs with like my natural hair. Like when I first went natural, I didn't, I wasn't really embracing my natural hair texture because I didn't like my natural hair texture. Um, so I was still flat ironing my hair a lot and still damaging it a lot. Like I was, I always kept my hair straight. Maybe I'll put in some pictures here if I feel like it. Um, my hair was always straight. I'm looking at my mirror. Um, yeah, I just didn't really embrace, I didn't like my natural hair texture. Um, I kind of, without like getting too deep into like racial stuff, but I, um, I thought my hair texture was ugly. I wanted to have loose, wavy, mixed girl hair. So I just didn't embrace it. I always kept my hair straight. And it was like that for a while until, um, what happened? Yeah, no, what am I, yeah. I would keep it straight, but then I started getting uh, weaves, like sew-ins, like long black sew-ins, and I, I still think those were like, that was a really good look. So yeah, I used to get sew-ins, and then I think, 
uh then i started to embrace my hair texture a little bit more like that's when i started getting on youtube and watching girls that had similar hair textures to mine so i was trying to like figure out how to do um mini twists and braid outs and just um yeah I, I was starting to try to learn about my hair texture and um this is not including like i used to dye my hair a lot too it's, I'm, I'm starting back that trend i guess dye my hair again but yeah i used to dye my hair a lot um i had like red hair I've been super blonde before, which is what I want to go back to gradually right now. Um, but I've, I've had different colors, I can't remember. Jet black. Yeah, so I've put my hair through a lot. And the other, another thing that, like, I, so I embraced my hair texture at this point. I was trying to figure it out, I was working with it. Um, when I decided that I wanted to go blonde, I want I wanted to get it professionally done, and this I went to this lady. She's really sweet. I don't remember her name, but yeah, I was getting my hair done by her, and she was using like keratin treatments to um, with the the bleach or something. I don't even remember, but basically. I had keratin processed hair and if you know anything about like keratin treatments and stuff they basically are made to like straighten or loosen your hair texture like to, to um, get rid of frizz I guess so without me knowing this because I didn't ask for a keratin treatment it just kind of she just gave me one with the, the blonde that I was asking for so um, gradually my hair texture was getting looser and looser and at first I was like happy about it because like I said, I um, I wanted to have like mixed girl hair. And I was like, oh, I'm finally getting that. I'm ha I had like loose curls and I was happy about that. But the keratin treatment was basically like getting, um, what are they called? Like texturizers because my, my new growth would grow in and it wouldn't match my keratin process hair and it would just be so hard to take care of oh my gosh it was so hard to take care of so i had um for for like literally until like two years ago i had like half like natural hair and the other half was like keratin treated hair and it sucked to like take care of i basically just did braid outs and twist outs all the time because like i couldn't do wash and goes i just couldn't do wash and goes so um uh, what am I what oh so yeah like two years ago I decided I was sick of that and I cut my um, keratin treated hair off so that was like the shortest my hair I think I ever cut my hair was the length I cut it two years ago and I tried to rock with it but I did not like the short hair on me so I just put my um Senegalese twist in which I used to do Senegalese twists all the time so I just put them back in until like my hair grew to a length that I was okay with basically and so last year my hair had gotten to the length that I was okay with so I would I'd wear my hair out um occasionally but then I would still put like twister braids back in because um I just didn't feel like dealing with my hair basically so yeah it was just that was just out of pure laziness i i had reached the point where i, I liked my hair texture i didn't want any other hair texture any more loose hair or you know what i mean like loose waves but i was so lazy and i was in college at this point that i was like i can't deal with like doing my hair on a weekly basis so i had cinnably swiss on and off for like three years Still, still to this day, like I, I, I've had, I had them a couple months ago, but um, I reached the point where I was sick of them and decided I wanted something different. Like I think a lot of girls, they just like to switch up their hair, and I am definitely one of those girls. I get like bored very easily with styles, so I decided to take out my twists. I think I took them out, um, yeah, like the end of December. And I bleached my hair this color. Um, yeah, I don't really know where to go from there. But yeah, I bleached my hair and 
my I'm not at like I said I'm not at the color that my gold color or whatever yet but I'm doing it gradually because I don't want to damage my hair and um, it's going good so far like I, I enjoy this color but I definitely want to go lighter um, this lighting is orange so my hair looks way oranger than it is but um yeah I want to be like blonde not like bleach blonde but like an ashy blonde I guess so my plan is to do a second bleach um next month what is it's march yeah in, in april um so that would be like what is that december january well it was like the last week of december so january february march so i would have that'd be like a three month gap in between bleaches which i think is fine and as you can tell my new growth is real so yeah that's I guess that's kind of like my hair background and as far as like my hair texture I have no idea I feel like I'm just all of the fours like 4a 4b a little 4c like on the crown of my head like my hair is really tight um yeah so I really don't know what my hair texture is but that's it's probably just all the fours um and as far as like what I've been doing with my hair recently like just routine wise I usually like to do wash and goes but um, I don't like how long my hair takes to dry like when I have a wash and go and I just have a lot of products in my hair and I'm just trying to wait for my hair to dry um, it takes forever like it can take up to like two full days for all of my hair to dry which is ridiculous so I didn't like that and I also didn't really like the way my hair looked um because I would stretch my wash and goes because my hair shrinks a lot but I didn't really like the the loss of definition that stretching my wash and goes gave me I guess so as of recently like the past month or so I've been just doing like my um, deep conditioner wash days and then just twisting my hair up in like I guess how many twists like four twists on each side of my head and then I pin them like I get a twist and I pin it across my head just to give it a stretch and um, yeah that's what I've been doing and over time my hair gets bigger and bigger that's why like I said at the beginning of the video I'm taking my twist out now so by the time um, by the time what am I saying but by this weekend my hair will be big and another way that I get my hair to be big like in pictures and stuff is um I if I don't want to like keep my hair in twist throughout the week until I'm ready to take them out I'll do like the twist out I'll take it out my hair will be like this but then I'll put it in a pineapple on the top of my head for a couple of days like I just rock a pineapple hairstyle and then when I take it down, since it's been up for so long, like it'll be a lot of volume when I like take it down. It'll still have that lift from being up in a ponytail for so long. So that's my plan for um, today and tomorrow. I'm just going to wear my hair in a pineapple. So Saturday, my hair will be popping for the wedding. Um, yeah, so that's the plan I'm trying to think what else can I say about my hair um, well basically if I can give any tips on like natural hair and well I guess my hair is like color treated too is like deep conditioning is such a so important like for my hair if I don't deep condition it just feels like it's gonna snap especially after um, bleaching it I still don't treat my hair like the best. I um, I can go days, days without putting any moisture. Like if I have my hair out for days, like I can go days without putting any moisture on it, which is not good because usually I try to like spritz my hair like every other day and put a little leave-in on it just to re-moisturize it for the week or whatever. But I, I, I don't do that all the time. But basically, I think my main tip to keep your hair healthy is just um, moisture. Your hair needs moisture. But um, yeah, as you can see, like 
my hair's super flat. There's like no body to it. That's why I hate first day hair. That's why I will take this out and just rock a ponytail for a cup of a, uh, a pineapple for a couple days, and then my hair will be big like in the pictures like that I post on Instagram or like the my last video. Um, I got a couple comments about my hair and the video wasn't even about my hair. So after seeing like those comments, I was just like, I do get a good amount of comments about my hair. So I'm just going to talk about it. But um, what else can I say? That's one half um, uh, untwisted. But yeah, super just like flat and boring. Ugh. So I guess I'll just untwist this side and come back to the video because I don't really know what else to say about my hair. Okay, so I just took out all my twists and this is what my hair looks like. I could separate it more to get like more fluff, but I'm not going to do that. Um, as I said like a million times, I'm just going to put it in a pineapple and let it stretch out naturally. But I realized that I one thing I didn't touch on is like the products I use and I think why I didn't think about it is because my products change like every couple months just like based on my bank account. <laughs> but um like say I my bank account is looking good. Camille Rose is my favorite um hair products hands down. They just give me like the best um my hair just feels the best when I use Camille Rose products. Like back when I had enough money, I had like my everything I used was Camille Rose. Like my conditioner, my shampoo, my leave-in, deep conditioner, it was all Shea Moisture. I mean, Camille Rose. Have I been saying Shea Moisture? Camille Rose. Shea Moisture doesn't really work for my hair, unfortunately. Except for their um, uh, African black castor oil like um, um, conditioner. That works nice on my hair. I think. Do I have any more of that left? Uh, no. So, oh yeah, 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 this right here. Oh, sorry. This, yeah, the Jamaican black castor oil. Can't really see it. Um, strength and restore conditioner. This makes my hair feel strength, strengthened and restored. But what I've been using recently that's been working really good for my hair is um, this Beautiful Curls leave-in, activating leave-in conditioner. And this is what is in my hair right now. Like after I do my deep condition and wash, I put this in my hair and then put it in twists. So this is like my go-to leave-in product. Um, my favorite deep conditioner is the Camille Rose Algae Renew Cocoa and Mango Butter. This is hands down my favorite deep conditioner. This is the only Camille Rose product I have currently, but um, it's definitely my my favorite deep conditioner. So Camille Rose. Um, then I have like this oil um, mixture. I don't even remember. What, I think it's just like olive oil, um, ca Jamaican black castor oil, peppermint oil. Um, I feel like there's something else that I'm not remembering. But yeah, it's just a mix of like different oils that are good for my hair. So I'll, after I do a wash, I'll just put it on my scalp and maybe a little on my ends. And the last product that I've been using um, frequently is the Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner. And I use this if I'm not using my Camille Rose Deep Conditioner because um, the the good the reason why I like the Camille Rose so much is because it makes my hair so soft. Like I leave it in, I usually leave this in overnight, and the next day my hair is so soft, so it's like butter. Like um, um, detangling my hair is so easy with that. But if I don't have that on hand, um, I use this uh, tea tree tingle conditioner to detangle my hair in the shower. Um, but I definitely think the Camille Rose is better detangle wise. It has way more slip. It makes my hair super soft. But if I don't have that, I use this. But that's the only thing I use this for. It's just detangling. Um, yeah. So yeah. Those are my go-to products right now for my hair. I don't have any hair 
products that are specific for color treated hair but I'll probably get some um, for my next like after my next bleach I feel like I'm probably gonna need something that's for color treated hair because my hair is gonna be like what the fuck two bleaches um, but yeah so this is what my hair looks like right now I think like this I found what works good for my hair this um, routine works really good for my hair so I, I forgot like I'm looking down I forgot to mention um, shampoo so I do use another Shea Moisture product this shampoo I like a lot it's the the same um, line as the conditioner the Jamaican black castor oil strength and grow and restore shampoo so this is my favorite I'm almost out but yeah I don't shampoo my hair a lot I when do I shampoo my hair? I don't like shampooing my hair because I don't like that strip feeling. But if I do, I use that. And I do it every now and again. Like if my hair gets to a point where I, it feels like product buildup, like too much product, then I'll definitely wash it and cleanse my scalp. But for the most part, like on a weekly basis, I'm just co-washing. Cause I just don't like that um, dry hair feeling that shampoo gives me even though that shampoo doesn't make my hair feel super dry but co-washing is just my go-to um yeah I feel like I've been talking for long enough this video is gonna be so long um I hope this uh helps somebody I know you guys really wanted a hair video so here it is here's my hair um if you have any questions or ideas for another type of hair video just let me know because like I said I have no idea what I do I feel like is really basic and I just do the same thing over and over again whatever I find that works well I just keep doing it so yeah I'm open to making different kinds of videos now so if you have a suggestion Please let me know in the comments and um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Okay, uh, real quick, I just thought for the sake of people that might not know like what a pineapple is when I kept saying like I, I keep my hair in a pineapple, this is what I mean. Like I just pull my hair to the front and put it in a ponytail like in the front of my face and then to wear it like as a style, I'll just get like a scarf like this one and I'll just like wrap it around like that and then it'll be like a look for a couple of days until I decide to take it down. So yeah, um, bye.